Detroit police considering expanding how it uses those controversial license plates. Readers saying it will help them fight crime. Good evening, everyone. I'm Taryn Asher and I'm Rupe Raj. Thanks for being with us tonight. The city didn't make any decisions, but as you'll see, a lot of people had a lot to say. Fox 2's Camille Amiri was there and joins us live. Camille, uh, a pretty loud meeting here tonight. Yeah, it definitely was very loud. We're talking about the police board of commissioners who listened to what people had to say and, of course, didn't take any action. But take a look at some video and let's talk about this. A lot of people say that this is infringing on their civil rights. This is violating their privacy. While the police say that, look, we're just taking pictures of license plates and we're cross-referencing them to plates that cars that are stolen, Amber Alerts, whatnot, anything that, you know, murder or homicide suspects. And, of course, this is a database that is across the country. So say your car's still in Ohio and then it's brought up in Michigan, then hey, they can catch it. So the police are saying, hey, this is all good, well and good. But people who spoke today, people who are basically saying, hey, wait a second, we've got cameras everywhere. Do we really need this? And is this really preventing anything? Uh, so we got a lot to think about. And I do want to point out, too, that one of the people that you're going to hear from in a minute, in a second, I should say, is from the ACLU. So take a listen. The last thing we need is another surveil. I am tired of being surveilled. Look at all this. I'm looking at cameras. Cameras, I'm wondering, do they even work? A license plate number should be considered personally identifying information. In a literal sense, no, it is not identifying information. It does not describe a specific person. But per the department's own spec report, it can be linked with other information to easily identify individuals. You're giving my information, you're giving whoever is driving a car, every car that goes past there, you're reading their license plate. And don't think that it's just going to be, oh, we're looking for a car. We're looking for an Amber Alert. So there's a lot to think about this. I mean, yes, police have solved crimes because of these cameras right now. According to the report that they gave today, the presentation they gave tonight, there are 83 of these license plate readers throughout the city of Detroit. And of course, they want to expand this, adding an additional hundred more. This is a multi-million dollar endeavor. And people here in Detroit are saying, is it really worth the money or should that money be spent on something else? Of course, the city, uh, the board of commissioners expected to vote next week if they do intend to do so or they could postpone it to hear more information but i can tell you that everyone who spoke today every public citizen who came up and spoke was not in favor of this so it'll be interesting to see what happens reporting live in detroit camilla berry fox 2 news and certainly we hear people uh, you know afraid of being profiled and constantly being under surveillance but do we know i mean there are many of these that already exist these license plate readers have there been any problems in the past well, so far, we haven't heard of any problems that we know of. But again, people brought up an interesting point that they didn't really know that these license plate readers had even gone into place. It was passed in 2017 and, you know, didn't go into, I think they were put in a couple years later after everything went was all said and done. We were in the pandemic. We had so much, so many other things to think about. Uh, so a lot of people at the meeting were like, hey, you didn't even tell us when you were putting in the first ones. So it'll be interesting. We haven't heard anything as far as racial profiling, but people are just worried that when there's cameras everywhere that they could be targeted and uh you know maybe even be accused of something that they didn't do well so we'll have to see what happens